Veterans are very special people, and we will always do whatever we can to help them. So when I got an email from a former serviceman who needed our help, it really got my attention. Who is this? Joshua. This guy just emailed from California. Uh, this guy, Joshua, he was in Afghanistan for nine years. Wow. And had many terrible days and nights. Spent contemplating my own death. But his dog saved him. So they have literally saved my life, and now I'm trying to do the same. Joshua used to actually live in New Orleans. And he decided that he just needed a change, and he decided to pick up and move to California. You know, unfortunately, he needed to leave his dogs behind until he could, you know, gather up the finances and just get himself in a, in a permanent place in California. So he left them with a friend. And now his friend is having serious medical difficulties and has to go in the hospital, actually. But now his friend can no longer care for Joshua's dogs. He's been reaching out to other places, just seeing if somebody could help him but his main goal is he needs to get his dogs to California. So he's asking if we can think of any way to help him. Joshua has already made a lot of sacrifices for us as a country. So there's, you know, just no way that I want to turn my back on him. Get a lot of sad stories, but this one kind of, this one gets to me. So I'm gonna see if I can get in touch with Joshua and see what we can do to help out. Hi, Joshua. Yes. Hi, um, my name's Tia Torres, Via Lobos Rescue Center here in New Orleans. Hi. Um, so we got your email and okay. wanted to see what we could do to help out. Thank you, ma'am. So you have a beagle dachshund and a beagle dachshund pit bull? I like their names, both Mama and Panda. So tell me a little bit about like the situation that I, I just kind of... I was a military member for 13 years, and I did nine years in Afghanistan, so right. I'm technically classified as PTSD. The companionship that dogs bring can really ease the symptoms of PTSD. I know that he must be missing them, so to be without them for such a long time, you know, my heart breaks for him and his dogs. Right now, my dogs are in Alexandria, Louisiana. Joshua was able to get a local shelter here in Louisiana to hold on to his dogs for a little while, at least until he could get them out to Los Angeles. But they can only hold on to them for a few days. Because Joshua had just started a new job out in California, he couldn't get the time off to come back across the country to get his dogs. You know, I really need a ride for my dogs from Alexandria to the airport there. It didn't have them flown here to LAX. I've got that all taken care of. Uh, you want to fly them? I mean, we just have never been comfortable doing that. Um, we might be able to possibly drive them out to California for you. So, oh my God. yeah, in the next few days, we can absolutely go by, pick them up, and then we'll drive them on out there. You know, obviously, it's a very long drive from Louisiana to California, but considering what Joshua has been through, I just wanted to make the transition as stress-free as possible for not only Joshua, but for his dogs. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, talk to you soon. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. It'll take a day or two for us to put together a plan and figure this whole thing out but then we'll pick up the dogs and we'll make this reunion happen. Today I'm picking up two dogs from Alexandria, Louisiana and driving them to reunite with their owner in Los Angeles, California. Hi, how are y'all doing? Hi, sure, I'm Mariah. Unfortunately, Joshua's friend that was taking care of the dogs got sick and can't watch them anymore. Thankfully, the shelter is taking care of them, but they only have the space to do it for a short amount of time. This is them, Panda and Mama. Katie, don't you find the bigger one more shy? She was, she was much more like shy it? when she came in and much more timid. It's okay. Are we gonna be okay? You guys wanna go in and leash them, and then sure. you guys can introduce them to me, and we'll see how this works out. Y'all ready to go, girls? They're ready to go. Mama and Panda are a little bit more shy. They came up to me, but they are a little timid. I'm here. It makes sense. I mean, Josh's dogs have had to adjust to a lot lately. It's extremely hard on a dog to go from being in a home to being put in a kennel situation. And they looked a little bit skinny, like they haven't been eating. 
Oh, oh, are we doing good? It's okay. They're gonna warm up to you as soon as you get no, going. No, we'll be fine. It's just it's stressful. Get to go see Dad. Are you guys ready? There we go. These are one of the things that don't happen often when you get to reunite yeah. dogs with their owners. So we always try and help when we can. That's why I'm actually right. excited to do this. They need him just as much as he needs them right now. Yeah, so. definitely. I'm excited so. to get out there. Right now, they're scared, they're nervous. So I'm hoping that as soon as they see their dad, all of those things are gonna go away. Thank you Thank so you much. guys for your thank help. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I can't wait to see the look on Josh's face when he sees his dogs. A day now, and the dogs still seem kind of scared. You're fine. The dogs have been whining, and they still haven't eaten at all, which honestly is starting to worry me. You're fine, guys. I'm hoping that this is just a temporary thing, and once they see Joshua, their nerves will calm down, and they'll be able to eat and get back to normal. My priority right now is just to get the dogs to Joshua as soon as I can. I finally made it to Los Angeles to reunite a war veteran named Joshua with his two dogs. He had to leave them in Louisiana when he moved to California, and he asked us to help him get them across country. Joshua offered to meet me at a local park right outside the city so I wouldn't have to drive all the way across town to his house. Panda and Mama haven't seen their dad in over two months, and they've barely eaten since I've gotten them a few days ago. I have no idea how this is gonna go, but I'm just really hoping that it's a happy reunion, not only for Joshua, but his two dogs. Who is that? My name's Joshua Baines. It's been about two months now that I've been away from my dogs, and it's been terrible. She's staring. Who is that? Oh, she knows. Who is that? Like every day I wake up without them snuggled up underneath my blankets is a strange day. Every day I don't have to walk a dog is a, it's a wrong day. <laughs> oh. Oh. I was a little nervous they weren't gonna remember me. I'm sure everybody's ever had to walk away from their dogs. They're always terrified about that. They're my dogs, they're my pack, they're my family. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. I was definitely a little more emotional than I thought I was gonna be. Oh, I have not seen them like this at all. <laughs> you can't break that bond that someone has with their dog. And it's only between them. It's like a mother and their child. You can't break that bond. <laughs> They're super happy dogs. They weren't this whole time, not until they saw you. How long have you uh, been back from Afghanistan? Uh, I got back in 2010. Just from going from a war zone to a, a civilian life and you know coming back, you feel all totally isolated. You feel totally alone. You feel cut off from everything. My dogs were the only people that were there for me. And the first seven months were terrible. And that's where these two came involved. I mean, like, it was bad. I've slept inside a closet before because it's small and it had a small door on it and it made me feel safe. And like, you wake up and you kind of feel like an idiot and you feel scared and you open the door and there's four little eyes staring at you because they're there, they don't care. They were always, every time I opened the door, the first face is I saw. You have nightmares about things that you've seen or done, and you wake up, and they're there. Can I kiss? Oh, baby. I'm just ecstatic they're back. I feel complete. I really do. I feel like a person again, you know? You know that noise. They are a little skinny. They weren't eating while they were away from me, but I mean, I'll fix that immediately. You want this? 
We gotta get you fat. There we go. Yeah. It was so nice to see them eat. They haven't had very much food over the last few days. And clearly all they needed was to relax and be around their dad. And now all of them can go home and be a family again. Good girls. That's my girls. You have them back now? I do. <laughs> I do. You ready to go home? Baby. I'm going to miss you two. You so excited to go home? Come here, little one. I would do this drive 20 more times, back to back to back, knowing that I got to do that. That I got to reunite them, just to see that moment again. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm glad that I got to be a part of this. Bye, babies.